Uh-oh, now you've even pulled out more antique tools, Dad. We're now inking with a pen. That's right. They won't even know what that is. I don't even know what that is. A pen. It Doesn't that come from, like, isn't that like a quill? That's from the 1800s, Should yeah. we put candles around the desk? <laughs> oh, get my feather quill out. That's only for inking Batman. I need to wear one of those, like, Shakespeare collars. <laughs> I pull out my uh, Joe Kubert inking pen. It's a lettering pen. Joe, word word has it that Joe Kubert can ink with anything. <clears throat> he actually inked with Vinnie Coletta upside down. <laughs> no, it's weird. It's true. Da 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 da. 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 <laughs> I walked in on Joe one day at uh, DC Comics, and he had a Hawkman cover to do, and I couldn't see any instruments around his desk, but he was penciling it, so I figured he was probably going to take it home. I went into the production room for a half hour, I came back out, and sure enough, it was pencil, and he was now inking it. And I looked at his hands, and in his hand, in his right hand, he, he held an FB6 lettering pen. And he was inking it with a lettering pen. And of course, I stepped over to his desk, trembling, and I said, uh, J- Joe, uh, you know that's a lettering pen in your hand. He said, yeah. I said, you're inking the cover with a lettering pen, Joe. He said, well, that's all that was in the desk. I said, oh, okay, and kind of backed out of the room, terrified. And sure enough, the thing appeared, and it was inked by a lettering pen. I put it over it. I'm it's like this mis- mysteries of the Orient. But I'm not an artist, so that that doesn't impress you. Totally meaningless. There to me. are see that <laughs> doesn't impress you, but there are artists out there who the concept of inking with a lettering pen is anathema. Barbaric. Anathema. That's your word for today. Anathema. Anathema. How do you spell it? A n a t h a m a. Didn't expect me to spell it. I was going to say, did you make that up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Google that. <laughs> Uh, Scott gives 10 points because you said Google it because he was yelling at somebody in his studio the other day because they were looking for reference and they kept telling Scott that he couldn't find it and then Scott turned around and said, what is wrong with you? You Google everything. Speaking of which, there's some drama going on. Do you want some drama with Scott? With Scott? He said he called you a curmudgeon yesterday. Curmudgeon. What you going to do? No, I don't think (laughs) <laughs> I'm, I'm sure he put it in a funny context that wouldn't embarrass me. Well, no, right, he was, Scott? He was saying that um, he wants your like personal legacy more than your artistic legacy. Oh, my personal legacy. Okay. In the sense of like, like your that, yeah. And then he called you a curmudgeon, and then I went, "Oh snap!" <laughs> <laughs> so there's going to be a fight. I'm not going to be able to. from Coney Island. <laughs> right, from, that's right. He'll Better cut watch someone. It. That's right. Cut with someone his, a lettering with pen. With his lettering pen. <laughs> I'll draw circles around you, son, but I need my circle template. Also, if we're going to, this is like a... a what an instigator you are. You started this. <laughs> now you're starting trouble, you little rat. Well, I told, I'm I told you, Scott that we were all sir. afraid of Courtney and that we need to be safe. <laughs> See, what I'm afraid Save of, us from Courtney. What I'm afraid of is this is like a childhood whim that I want to do to draw this. And right. then it's going to show up and all of his fans are going to be like, this is a dog you just ruined. Player versus player for everyone. <laughs> you ruined Christmas. Yeah, like that's my greatest fear. Like sorry and, and guys. Killed. <laughs> and killed Santa. No. Oh, you don't care about Santa. Obviously not. <laughs> Santa been very a, a good to you. A commercial, a commercialized uh, Coca Cola owned marketing device. All right. <laughs> Santa Claus. Yes. Oh. You know what you need to do? What Scott came Kurtz first, Coke this? or Santa Claus? Well, I mean, the idea of Santa Claus came first, but the image of Santa Claus came after. This is the history lesson that we have to endure every <laughs> Christmas. I want everybody <laughs> to know that. <laughs> Christmas, My life is horrible. Chris been, been very good to Courtney. <laughs> draw, draw, draw. <laughs> Why? Yeah, what, what's with the yapping? <laughs> what 
the what? Put the yap in, sir. What are you talking about? I'm gonna go back to that drawing. Well, because we let him watch Scott on Ustream yesterday, and and Scott yaps a lot. It doesn't do his artwork either. Oh. That contradicts what you said just a minute ago. Well, but he is care. fast. I See, need okay. They'll say anything to a me. A whip, and you need less light. You should be squinting while you do this. Sweatshop continuity. Well, we finally gave him electricity to turn on his light box the last time we did this. <laughs> you guys are so bad. I just want everybody to know that my children and grandchildren are not this terrible when they're in normal life. Really? But they on really the microphone grandpa? on the micro well I take really? that back. Alright, I might be wrong. I might they might be terrible. When a discussion comes about what comes ha- what will happen when you lost both your hands. Both your hands? <laughs> what? And, and we have to get the potato. Yeah, out. We concluded that you could draw it with a potato <laughs> with a pen stuck in it. Has somebody been soaking this paper in water? Yeah, I think it was called the snow and rain we had oh, the other day on? in your portfolio. <laughs> See, once again, Scott doesn't have to worry about the, the elements outside. <laughs> have you ever spilt coffee on, like, a really important clay? No, but my daughter has. My daughter? Not. <laughs> no, Which the way, daughter? The way I used to be able to tell your grandpa's work at conventions is I'd look for the coffee ring. Because he always put his coffee mugs on it, and I that, I didn't know the difference between other artists when I was like five. But I because no other artist always, drinks coffee. Dad always well, no, none of them ever put it on top of They're their original artwork. You know, they well, that's to hold it, it down in the corner. Right. They yeah. talk about that on Facebook all the time. Matter of fact, I think even Walt Simonson has admitted to that. Really? Mm-hmm. See. Oh, it's a great these. tradition. Like, coffee waiting, it's called. Right. But like, God should just like, do a Photoshop coffee ring on the upper right hand side of his strip, and then authentic. he's an authentic comic guy. <laughs> That's right. But like, have you ever like finished some like gigantic project and then just been like? I mean, have coffee. my daughter spill ink on it? No. Oh, Who's had worse that. though? <laughs> <laughs> what? He, he had worse than that happened because he he brought. Five pages of green lantern, green arrow to DC. They're all penciled, super neat, and then they were stolen before they were printed and before inked. And so they because somebody fell asleep on the subway <laughs> while delivering them. Oh, see, look at now. Dad. <coughs> what is this telling stories out of school now? What is this? You guys, Dad you have a microphone, and look what happens. Because they're so evil. This is why. See, this is the precursor. I need to a circle template. Show.